Hello everybody. Today we're back here in the uh, 118 Let's Play. The villagers still aren't breeding. They just keep tossing food back and forth and back and forth. So if you uh, have any ideas on how to fix that, it would be appreciated. I've tried breaking all the beds and replacing them back down. That doesn't seem to help any. Um, not sure why. Uh, we can try doing it one more time just to see what happens, but um, I don't think it's because I the other villagers are bound to them because they're like 700 or 800 blocks that way. So let's do this. Let's put one here. Nope. Nobody bound to it. <clears throat> I don't know why. I don't think it's because of the door there, because I've seen other people do this one. I just don't know. Well, I think what we are going to do today, though, is go work on the uh, zombie spawner <clears throat> at the at the base. Um, just because now that we have mending, I need to start putting getting some diamond or emeralds to put mending on some of my uh, tools. So we will leave these guys to hopefully sort it out amongst themselves. Um, but let's go back to the other base. I'm pretty sure I deleted every bed that was around here. <clears throat> so there shouldn't be any bed items that they are uh, tripping up on, especially in this village. be doing some music but it seems that the Elgato stream deck music library that is quote royalty free and no chances of getting ta or marked for copyright claims isn't really the case <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me three of the last I think four videos I've uploaded uh, Practically every single song and it's getting marked as copyright violations and I don't really know why. So I keep having to file claims and then it goes away and then a new song is brought up as a copyright violation in it. Um, which, surprisingly, for a two hour stream, yeah, that's probably going to happen. <coughs> so until they can either figure out or do something else, I'm not going to be able to do any of that for right now. So we're just going to run. And look at the moon. Look at the moon. I wonder if... Let's change something. Simulation distance 12 chunk, render distance. Let's do it to 18 chunks. I'm wondering if maybe because I had that up so high that that's that the villagers were still whatever, but maybe not. I don't know. It's really confusing why the villagers won't breed. I've given them like so many stacks of food. It's 
so much so that they just keep throwing it at each other instead of breeding. And I think what it's happening is they're throwing it at each other, um, and the person throwing it is picking it right back up because they're basically standing right on top of one another. So we may need to figure out how to somewhat separate them a little bit. <clears throat> But so far we have our our two Fletchers for sticks. We've got the mending dude for 22. We got the mend, uh, silk touch for 14, which is what I wanted. So we can get some of this ice and uh, use it to make some water and other things. But let's go up here, go to sleep. And uh, then we'll start working on the uh, zombie uh, farm back here. Now, the interesting part about this is, is because it's so close, it may be running all the time. Which is going to be interesting. But I need to check and see if I have glass. Because I've got enough amethyst shards to make a bunch of the uh, tinted glass. So I got 36. Uh, no, I don't really have a lot of glass. So I may have to go out to the other place and get some more sand. First, I need to empty my inventory because I don't have any place to store any of this stuff. <clears throat> So let's just go ahead and put a bunch of stuff up in here. Nope, don't want to put wheat up there. We'll put it over here. Yeah, so let's go to get some sand. We're going to use the uh, <coughs> oh, oh. Excuse me. I was going to use the uh, handy dandy thing, but I can't remember. There it is. This is a uh, tunnel we built to go about 900 blocks the other way the last time. So we don't have to spend five minutes walking eight or 900 blocks. This just takes us to the other village uh, that we have on the other to the, uh, I think it's the east of us or south of us. And it's way easier to run through this. You come down here and be at the other village in a matter of 20 seconds versus having to climb that whole hill three times. So we're going to go down here. I didn't bring any shears with me, and I don't think I had shears in here for some wool. Uh, oh, we Let's see. Is any of them able to be bred? Nope. None of them can be bred. So we're going to leave them there for right now. <clears throat> go over here to the sand and pick up some sand so we can make some glass. And let's use the stone shovels first. Oh, hey look, some bones and arrows. Just what I wanted.
pick up the sugar cane that's here too. Ooh, that's a rare four high one. I think we will get two stone shovel worths. Because <laughs> that's an accurate measurement. We'll see what that actually does. Well, that is sandstone, not sand. So one stone shovel <clears throat> equals almost two stacks. Oh wait, it's going to equal over two stacks of sand. Two stacks, two of sand. Okay, two stacks, three of sand. All right, so let's do another stone shovel's worth of sand. So, if they are equal, we should have four stacks and like eight or so. So, we have four stacks, yeah, four stacks, six, that ain't too bad. <clears throat> All right, so let's go back and start cooking this up. Stuff's not all grown. We probably should at some point make a proper tunnel for this versus just hollowed out another rack.
Back here is where we're going to be working, but I want to put maybe some tinted glass around here for the edges instead of making it completely dark, just so I can see if it's actually working or not, which we know will probably work. Um, need some coal. So let's put coal and stack. Coal and a stack. All right, so to build the zombie form, we're going to need to cut away some stuff. And I'm wondering how far down it goes and over it goes. Oh, well, there is some coal over here. Can we get to it? Um, that is a f super deep drop. Okay. So I think we have to cut another two blocks on each side of this and then two or three below it. And then we got to figure out where we want the zombies to come out at. And I'm thinking they're probably going to come out over here someplace. Um, just because this is so open over here and over there is a deep hole. So what we're going to do is come in here and start taking out this cobble. Actually, let's go see if we can put silk touch and do I have enough emeralds to get another mending? 19. Let's go see if we got enough sticks. So let's go trade this and see if we can get um, another mending and then we'll make a new diamond pickaxe. And I need a book. Do I not have any books right now? I thought I had books. I guess I must have used them all. I think I traded them all away. <clears throat> Alright, so let's go see if we can get... We have a silk touch, so we need a mending, which I believe is... 
Yeah, so we need... I'm one shy, seriously? Mm. 14 string flint. I don't think I have enough flint. I could probably go do some paper. Let's see if we have any paper. To see if we can get a couple more emeralds. Otherwise we may have to wait on putting the mending on until after it's already mm -hmm. half broke. some more sticks. I think we had a bunch of sticks over at the other place too. We could possibly go over there and get some. Yeah, let's go do that. Let's see if I still have sticks at the other place. I'm pretty sure I do. We'll go get them and then come back and do that trade. That should get us a couple more uh, emeralds. And I probably need to build a uh, another portal over here because the amount of going back and forth that I'm doing is, is kind of a lot. And it would save on having to go across this bridge so much. such a long I think we will also try to get a uh, portal stood up over here I think it should be far enough away from the other one it's just to the right of this that they shouldn't link up hopefully The only problem is is linking or finding a path back to the other portal once we do this. on sticks on sticks. <clears throat> All right, so that should let us get the uh, the mending book so we can make an actual diamond pickaxe with mending and silk touch on it. Um, that way we don't have to double smelt stone.
and we're just a running. Let's see, what is the max distance we can do on that? 64, 32. And is it going to crash or is it just going to go? Is it going to laggy McLaggerson? I think in having a 32 chunk uh, simulation distance would, would help if I can get the um, iron golem farm there. Right, stick boy. Cool. So thirty seven emeralds. So that means we can get the mending book and have fifteen left. I think silk touch is fourteen. Yeah, we could get a, another silk touch. Um, but I think for right now, I just need the one for the pick. Um, so let's go up here. We're going to have to make some more sticks. Because I need to uh, make a new pickaxe. So do we have any wood that I can use to make sticks with? Or is the bamboo already grown back up enough? I don't have any wood. But hey, look, the bamboo's already grown. I need to get this so it's just sort of automated. up another 53 sticks. Okay. So let's get three diamonds. Make the diamond pickaxe. Store the sticks and the arrows. And then we're going to come down here. And we're going to call this Silky Smooth. All right. So we got this. I mean, granted, it's... Uh, doesn't have them breaking on it that should be probably like the next trait that we uh or book that we try to get but this should be at least faster than trying to do uh stone pickaxes I like how stone breaks faster than cobblestone does. I 
think our, re our render distance is causing us some issues, so let's go back to that. I think was it just four maybe or was it actually nine I'm trying to remember now it's been a while let's look real quick I think I need to dig this out now. Ooh, there's some iron. All right, so I think it has to be a nine by nine. And I think I dug out a little bit too much on the, the walls. So let's look here. So it's one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Yes, yeah, so we need to do four. So this wall will be the new wall that's around. And we need to go down.
<clears throat> okay. So we need to go down one more so that when they spawn, they you can't touch that. So let's go here. this out and just replace this with solid stone. Same with this. Probably should go up here and fill in this back here. Cut out all this here to fill in with the tinted glass. an even across here, just tinting the glass. And I think our glass should be done smelting. Yeah. So let's grab that. Let's grab that. And Wow, we ran out of tinted glass already. Does not go a long distance. Good thing we've got a bunch of amethyst shards. All 
All right. So we got that. Now what we need to do is get the uh, the trenches set up. So if we have this block, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is where we're going to dig down like this. And we're also going to dig another one down. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So what we need to do is probably about here. It's going to go down even more. Forget how this works. I think it's water comes in. There's a fence post here that lets them go across. That goes up the soul sand there. So then we want, I think that, and then signs down this way. But this will be the block that they go up on. So if we're at Y145. to go up to about 167 so that we can take them over and then drop them. And I realize this is a very bad idea. So we'll do 166, and then we need to go, so there'll be a water source there, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then the ninth one, so here's where we're going to drop down which is going to be so we're at 25 166 negative 18 so let's go back let's put that there for right now go back down here to go to 25. Ooh. Okay. And then 18. Oh no, it's going to be right in the middle of our uh, Huh. <clears throat> well, that may actually work out if we put it right in the middle of my little storage room here. Because it's going to land right here. Um, so that could work out. We may have to end up moving this room someplace else, though. All right. So let's dig up. Oh. 
Digga, digga, digga. And I forgot to see. All right, so we're at Y166 here. is 19 okay so they'll take some damage but that won't be one hit what is the one hit damage 23 blocks so we technically need to go a few lower if we So one sixty six. So we need to be at one forty three is where they land. But is that going to kill them or is that going to? Yeah, so twenty three. All right. So we need to go down a few more, which will be cool because we can actually just put some glass around this and uh, yeah, so they have to land on that, which means we got to go two more. For the the hopper and the chest, so let's break out some of this other stuff here. Bottom is going to be the chest, and that means we have to put like this. So the chest, hopper, yeah, and then this can be all. or enough wood to make a chest. Probably should put some obsidian behind it just so that uh, we don't accidentally break through when we're killing things. And I don't think I have... Well, we have some oak. So we need to turn in all the oak. I need to make two chests. Um, and I need a hopper. And I need another chest because I need three. All right. Got that. That'll be where they land on. So let's take out that and replace it with 
some obsidian. If I have it. I think we should only need to have like we're standing here. Yeah. Because it'll be landing. Actually, we'll be standing back one more because there'll be a thing in front. Yeah. That should be good. We'll have to get some more obsidian for another, another portal. And to make it look cool. Do we have any... Oh, we do have more obsidian there. Okay. Let's put some... Smooth stone. And let's actually... Smelt some more. Just want to do that. I have to put a slab here. Um, do I have any slabs? slab there and then we can put um, like this and then like that that because this will end up being here and then we can put a tinted glass there so they'll fall into that we'll be down in here and we need to break that and that tinted like that and let's take out the back here and put in up there once it's done smelting that'll give them a drop area and we'll put a light there for right now Now the thing is, oh I do have kelp, cool. I was worried I didn't have kelp. Because um, we will need to make some water sources. zombies will fall down and we can come down in here we can stand here and hit them 
problem is, is this doesn't prevent the babies. So we need a trap door. Yes, we need a trap door so that the babies can't get out. Um, trap door or we can put a slab there. Yeah, I think the slab is going to be better. So if we put a slab here, the babies can't get through there. We can still hit them. Maybe if we put a slab there, yeah, we'll be able to hit them. Okay. So now what we need to do is take our bucket of water and get our kelp. get some soul sand and I think I have a fence post someplace over here and what we need to do is put a light up first so we don't get killed post there yeah that's it and oh we need signs signs everybody needs signs And that means there will be a sign, I think, here. Maybe that's got to go back one more. Oh, I don't do these that often. Someone has a baby killer. So the signs go above the fenced post. Okay. That's what I thought. not good and that's gonna push that died there. That would have sucked. So now let's put that there. I think I got some bone meal. Let's just bone meal that instead of trying to uh, go back up. I'm possibly dying at the moment.
Okay, so that's all the way to the top because it won't let us uh, bone mill it anymore. So let's go up to the top here. Yep, and come back here. Okay, now we need to get another bucket of water. And I need to replace that with that. That should shoot them up. And if we put another bucket of water here. Yep, so that'll swiftly take them up into that. And if we need to, let's put that there for right now. Now, I need to see if I've got some more buckets, because I need to do at least one. Guess I'll never get those back. But what we're gonna do is do one, two. So and we need to come up here, break those. That's good there, and we need to scaffold out and make sure that this stuff is all okay. Yep. Let's go and just break these out. Ooh. dirt um, go out here and take off the torches so take that one oh we probably put should put a slab on top yes. Just so they can't spawn there. And there we go. Oh, did I leave a... Okay. 
Okay, yeah, they're going. They just need a little bit of push. It looks like they are getting stuck there for some reason. Oh, I've got that light up at the top up there too. But... Well, I wonder, are they all getting stuck? Oh, I need to set up the, the render distance. Um, or simulation distance. I wish I knew why they were getting stuck there. And then I black that out up there. I think I left that one torch up in there. And I wonder if I can dig this out so I can see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I just AFK here. they like to uh, to come at me but they can't come at me they just keep pushing each other into the uh... now the babies that's gonna be a problem Got a backup going in, but our sword is almost healed back up. Probably need to get some stairs and stuff in here. I think we have some. Um, if not, we'll need to make some stairs. We 
could use polish deep slate slabs. AFK if here for a while. Duck. You may need to work that, fix that up. I think that's pretty good. Uh, we got a, a little XP farm here. Um, we can start to get uh, some XP. We're mending our our, eat, our tools here. Um, yeah, so we can go actually go out here and break some of this ice and stuff, and some of the ice that's down here. Now we got silk touch. And uh, I think I'm just going to sit here a little AFK for a little while so I can get some XP to heal back up the, uh, the pickaxe. And I think I'm going to call it for a day. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day.